Hey everybody, this is GliderCat and it's time to play. We're back in Farming Simulator 19. We're not on 22, but we're on 19. We're on the Arichis Hollow map. Information is in the description about that. Cool looking map. Last episode we bought some land that has, I believe, a sawmill here and a bunch of trees for us to harvest, which is awesome. And then we leased a Ponce, I believe it's called. Um, tree harvester. Let's go get to that. I'm just gonna hit the tab key. Boom, 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 boom. I'll have to turn off. Here it is. Here is our buddy. It's been ages since I've used this. It's gonna take me a while to figure it out. But this guy is a beast. And this guy is a beast. We need to go to, um, go to where our trees are. Hit that off. Pop this up. Where am I? Okay, I need to head up. I think back in this direction, right? I think I'm heading in the right direction. Yeah, this guy doesn't move real quick. 14 miles per hour. But boy, it does the job on the trees. I'm going to have to, I think, cross the bridge. I think I need to be on the other side. Let's take a quick look at the map. We're here. We need to get up here. We can go straight up this road and then cross the bridge, I guess. But yeah, let's just, uh, maybe I hit three. That's cruise control. Turn this down. So we'll see. We'll see how this does. Gonna take me a while to get there. This guy is fun. I think this thing is fun, pretty fun to use. It's just a monster. I guess I can practice the controls while we do it. Let's uh, bring up the help while we're traveling. You can see what it says. It's showing the controls on the top. All right, right mouse button looks like it's up and down. If I go side to side with the right mouse button, nothing happens. Both buttons. Okay, both right and left mouse buttons swivel the head. Then primary mouse is out and back. Okay, it's showing me now. Okay, out. That stretches out and brings it back. And then right and left swivel the entire cab. Both. Okay, that's just swivel. There's more to this one, I thought. There's one more attach. There's one more control I'm not seeing. Unless I'm thinking about a different ponce. But this guy swivels. I thought there was one more attach. One more way to move this thing, but I'm not seeing it. So maybe this guy doesn't have it. Okay, change cut length. Is this our bridge, by the way? Yeah, it is. Cut length is Y. We don't want one meter. We want, like, I think it's eight, right? Is that the biggest? Yeah, we want eight meters, I believe. And then we're going to need an autoloader truck or something to load these trees once we've cut them all. Camera. That's our swivel. This may be a little harder to use. This is a little bit different model than the one I'm familiar with from Farming Simulator 17. Or at least the one that I used. Whoops, coming into the map. I mean to actually do that. I'm releasing this this uh, tree harvester. Not cheap, 22,000 per day, I believe. Plus maybe some operating costs, I'm not sure. Oh, 
Oh yeah, it's going to be pretty clumsy at first. Let's see. Oh, how do we open up the jaws on this thing? Uh, let's see if it just hooks on. I can't remember. Uh, is it B? Okay, B opens things up. Get on the tree. We're on the tree. Down as far as we can go, I think. That looks pretty good. Okay, X to cut. Boom. Now it grabs hold of it. I usually pull back like this. And in fact, since we don't have a truck, let's drag this thing over to the cell point. <laughs> we won't do this for everyone, but let's drag this to the cell point. Bear with me as I learn what I need to do. I'm going to cut again. X. Boom. We get money? Oh, it's not. Let's try getting back a little further. See if it... This may not be where we need to drop stuff off. Yeah, it's not disappearing for us. That's not a good sign. Try one more here. More towards the middle. Doesn't like it. That's, there's another cell point way back here. Let's try... Eventually we'll do this with a truck. We won't use this guy to do it. Bear with me in my terrible driving. All right, let's try that. didn't sell. Now I'm confused. Shoot. That's not so encouraging because we need to make some money somehow. Oh man, that's not good. That is not good. Do we have to do something to activate this? That's what I'm wondering. I thought by buying the land we would be good. Oh, sell wood. Do I have to hit? Yeah. Oh, we got something. 661 bucks. So this area took the wood. What does this guy need? Or do I do? I can try R here. I'm not sure what this is about. So we saw how to sell the wood there. We just dump it down and then we hit the R key and it sold it for us. We didn't get much for that log. 600 and something, but that wasn't even, that was just part of a tree. I can't lift these. These are way too heavy. All right, let's cut down another couple trees. Just hop out. And this will be a lot less cumbersome and clumsy later as we play on. All right, we got, look at that. Almost $7,000 for that wood right there. So this is starting to look like a smarter investment than I thought it was going to be even.
Yeah, it's a gold mine. It is a gold mine. I'm going to cut down more of these trees. Maybe I will try to fast forward and do some music here, but let's uh, make some money while we're waiting for our crop to grow. This one's a biggie. This one is a biggie. All right, let's pop out and sell, see what we get for this little load here. We're looking at 286,000. Or let's go ahead and hit the R key. Boom, 19,000 for that wood right there. That is uh, a bit better use of time than cutting grass, I'd say. Not too bad. Not too bad at all. And get rid of the help. Oh, but it's a little snug here. Things are packed in pretty tight. Eventually, we will use a truck to get this stuff out of here. We won't do a ton of it. We won't do all these trees at one time. But it is a good way to make some cash.
All right, not too bad. Let's see. Let's take a look at our income and see how we've done. Uh, today, one big long day here in game. Uh, income. Look at this sold wood, 124,000, almost 125,000 for wood. Not bad. And we've only gotten 45,000 out of our, uh, grass crop, but not too bad. 170,000 just about. Not too shabby. Now leasing, look at that, 22,000 to lease the big tree harvester. So that was expensive. We bought some fertilizer, we bought some seeds, not a big deal there. We can't use them yet. Let's take a look at our crop. I think it's still going to be quite a while before we can uh, actually harvest it. Let's zoom out a little bit. It's a little easier to read the legend when we don't have so much map. Yep, it's going to be a while before we can harvest that. We're going to, I think we're going to spend some time, more time cutting down trees. I'll do some of that, I guess, between episodes. There's just a bunch more. There's a bunch more to do. A bunch more trees to harvest. You may have noticed I had problems with that one would just not come loose. And then I uh, actually flipped my tree harvester over on its side. Now vehicles can end up flipping over and you can go get uh, kind of a, what they call a telehandler or even a powerful forklift can get you righted. But uh, it's, man, it's work. So I didn't want to let go of that tree until I knew I had the ponce back up on its treads or on its tires. This one we'll have to maybe take out with a chainsaw. We'll buy one of those. And then this log we'll have to pick up. Just like with these other ones. Maybe with an auto loader. We could do it with the forklift with a log grabber kind of thing. It's pretty slow. Pretty slow to do it that way. Um, we still have to find out what this is for. Maybe. Yeah, I'm just not sure what this is for here. It almost looks like. Let's see, what does this say? Cool gas. Huh. Is it like some kind of biomass thing or something? Now, I see smoke coming out of here. I wonder if this is for selling wood chips. If we dump wood chips here, do they get turned into energy or something or biofuel somehow through this process? I bet that's what that is. This is probably a cell point for wood chips, and then this is a cell point over here for the logs themselves. It would make sense. It also kind of explain why this one's got a grate. Uh, kind of a grate where material could potentially fall through there. Hard to tell. Yeah, I think that's supposed to be kind of a grate. But not too bad. We'll get a chainsaw and clean up this mess. Um, in fact, we could do that right now. We got a little time. Let's, uh, let's go into the store. And where would this be? Landscaping. I haven't tried that too. That's a new thing with uh, Farming Simulator 19. All right, miscellaneous. Is it in here? Nope. Go back to here. Chainsaws. And I'm going to go with the McCullough. It's a thousand. We'll buy it. Yep. Okay, scroll. The mouse wheel or press one or two on the keyboard to switch chainsaws. Okay, boom. Escape out of here. Shit, here's our chainsaw. I gotta cut these up pretty small for me to carry them. So we get close. Turns green. I think that's green. <laughs> if I can actually pick this up, yeah. Eventually we'll get a truck to do this. An auto loading truck that'll automatically load the logs up and then we'll Bring them over here and drop them. Let's see what we get for that little nugget. 175 bucks. Not bad. Let's see about... Um, I mean, I can cut the rest of that tree up. Let's do a little bit of that work. I think... Get the branches. I just got to run along the side, I think. Something used to be... Oh, man. Let's just see what this does. All 
right? We cut off part of it. Okay, there's some branches coming off. Branches coming off. I can't really move this thing. There's, it's super duper heavy, the, the tree itself. Okay, we took out some branches there. More branches coming off. Let's chop this little section off. Hopefully it won't land on us. It did, but we're okay. Rotates. Just trying to get the branches off. Got all the branches off, most of them anyway. Yep. These little end pieces are disappearing because there's not enough wood, I think, to even sell or do anything with. Got some more branches here. There they go. Another one there. Just kind of run the saw nearby, and usually that gets rid of them. See if we can pick these up. Yeah, that'll go. There is a way to throw them. I don't know how far I can throw them. I think it's the right mouse, <laughs> right mouse button. I, yeah, just dropped it. It's actually pretty heavy for my person here. So we won't do all that cleanup now. Let's uh, let's take a look at the garage. Or at the store, actually. I want to see the mods. I think it's this gun. I th or no, it's the other guy. One of these has a lumber truck, I think, that will auto-load. Ooh, what is that for? Interesting. The passenger bus. I don't know if that's just for looks. This says boulders only. That, only. that clearly isn't going to be the case. That says for containers. Flat deck. We need an auto loader for wood. Uh, okay, that's animals. That's some kind of truck. Do we have anything that can do wood? The tipper. A. Not this thing. Is this animals? Yeah, that's an animal one. Hmm. I don't see one for logging. Let's see if they come with the base game. I'm not sure. Uh, forestry equipment, maybe, in here? Let's have an autoloader. It doesn't say. This vehicle can transport tree logs. Some trailers can be attached to a tractor by using a dolly. Okay, I don't see autoloading on that. May have to find, let's see. Is it an option? No. Don't think that one does it. Don't think that one does it. Yeah, we do not want to do it by hand, man. It is slow. Basically, I want this guy here, this timber runner, but I want a version that's modded for auto-loading. I don't think this one has it. We could lease it real quick and just see. It's going to cost us 1400 bucks to lease it. We could try and see if it has the auto-loading. I don't think it does, though. Don't think it does. Normally, it would say... All right, maybe between episodes, I will try to find either a truck already in here that's going to allow us to do it or a mod somewhere else that allows us to do it. And I may try the one, the default one, 
that uh, is in the store here under, where was that? Under forestry machines. It's not going to be in here. That's the beast we're using, the Scorpion King. That thing is awesome. Yeah, I'll try, I'll try, I'll lease this one and just give it a try. I don't think it's going to work. We can do it right now. Let's just go do it. Oh, standard, wide tires. don't know that it matters. We can go wide tires. Or we're going to lease. Let's do standard. Lease. Yep. Okay. Cape out of here. Let's go get one of our semis. We're going to have to, not sure which one. Do this guy. It looks a little beefier. Coal mine. We need to make our way all the way down to the store and pick up that trailer. I'm pretty sure it's not going to work. But I will feel stupid if it does work and I don't try it. So let's head over there. This guy goes 102 miles an hour. He should get there pretty quick. Here's our trees, I think. I gotta do is hit help I think does it have auto load I don't see anything on there for auto load I see belts and that's it yeah I'm pretty sure this is not gonna auto load for us bummer auto load yeah there would be a mode here yep that's not gonna work anyway between episodes I'll see if I can find one. Uh, gotta think we've got one in the mod packs that are already installed, but if not, I will go fetch one. Definitely, definitely need that. That makes logging way, way, way faster than trying to haul the logs here with some kind of, uh, some kind of uh, forklift or telehandler. It's just a, a lot easier. All right, with that, I will sign off and thank you for watching. Um, I will see you all in the next episode.